One former Sirloin Stockade employee can now be seen working hard on Murray State's campus along with many others. I'm here today with Amber Harris, former employee of Sirloin Stockade, currently working for Murray State. Thanks for being on our show. Yes, thank you for having me. So talk about what your current position is here at Murray State University. Well, I'm the Marketing Specialist for Center for Telecommunication Systems Management. So I work um, in our TSM program where I work with high school students in our Cyber Cave Academy where we're in the Cyber Cave room at the moment. And so we have students that come visit. I go out and recruit at their high schools. I do events, plan all different types of marketing events um, to raise scholarship money, uh, for security awareness, all different types of things. Now you also worked at Sirloin, but you were there for quite a bit of time, six years did you say? Yes, I was there for six years. Okay, well how did that kind of prepare you then for where you are now? Well, um, having to always be happy and chipper and greet you know, new um, customers as if they were the first um, and the last customers you're going to have for the day um, gets me prepared for my interpersonal skills, my job since I went into marketing, mm -hmm. having to work with different people every day, talk to different individuals, high school students, a lot of diverse faculty. Um, so it helped me kind of prepare myself um, just communicating with other people and not being shy, which I've never really had a problem being that <laughs> shy, but it helped me um, kind of, you know, they have a, a lot of different crowds at right. Sirling. There's older, there's younger, there's all different types of people that come in and um, they want to talk to you for as long as they can, and so you sometimes will sit and just have very interesting conversations with them. So that's kind of my job, and what I do in a sense is just communicating and having those skills. Well, and in communicating with um, people that come in that are customers, that's kind of what I've heard. It's kind of like a big family there. What it, I mean, what's the atmosphere like? It's very upbeat. Um, it's very, I want to say, homey in a sense, even though you're at a restaurant, but. The carvers do a really good job in trying to make sure that they take care of their people, but it's also important to take care of the customers too. And so the customers, you have a lot of repeat customers, people that love the atmosphere, not only the employees, but the customers do as well. And so they return all the time and they ask you about your family, they ask you how you're doing, they ask you about school. And so they get to know you just like you get to know them. And so they want you to sit with them, they want you to you know, just visit with them just like if you were old friends. And so really you don't know them outside of the restaurant, but you kind of get to know the customers as well as the employees and so that's just a it was a very um, interesting atmosphere one to get used to but I loved it I loved being there that's why I stayed there for so long was because um, the carvers encourage you to get friendly with the customers they encourage you to, to network with them and to kind of build relationships and I know the carvers are very good at hiring several Murray State students I mean so many people that work at Murray State at one point worked at Sirloin. I mean, oh, what was it like working I mean do you have any advice for students who well, are looking I for think jobs? It's just a great opportunity it's the hours are wonderful. Um, I was a server, um, but there's a lot of jobs there. I started in high school, actually, and so I started as a cashier, and so kind of went there and kind of moved my way up. And so they do a lot to try to promote within, so they try to start you out and then kind of, you know, hi I guess hire outside, but then, you know, work your way up. But um, they do a wonderful job in being flexible with your schedule. So even in high school and then going on to college, I was able to keep my job, was able to kind of still maintain you know the lifestyle that I wanted to maintain with my job that I had and with you know school schedules so they're wonderful at trying to work around and work with you on that. Do you have any favorite memories or stories that you want to share? Yeah um, the Carvers they you know we have non-skid shoes I know this so they always harped on that safety first they want to make sure that you don't slip and fall and I did not listen to the Carvers this just I forgot my shoes didn't have them and you know I was carrying drinks to a table and slipped because you, that's, you should wear your non-skid <laughs> shoes and I fell but I did manage to not drop any drinks. How do you fall and not drop drinks? You fall straight <laughs> straight up and just keep you know it was just I it just happened to be perfectly where I fell. Well we're glad you're okay and that you were able to talk yes, to us today. Yes <laughs> yes I'm, gl I'm glad you guys had me today. Well thank you for your time and good luck in everything you do in your future. Great well thank you thank, thank you very you. much.